on another. And I just wanted to get into one more film before we finish up this video. Uh, the latest on Julian Assange shows his health getting much worse uh, as he was moved to the hospital win and reports saying he was too ill to even speak uh, and suffers from psychological torture. Uh, and where's the media for all this? You know, too busy ridiculing him for dirty dishes and riding a skateboard around. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's truly terrifying what is happening here. And the treatment they can dish to anybody that blows the whistle on issues we aren't supposed to know about. So I'll get into this article now. It was recently revealed that Assange will not be extradited to Sweden over the 2010 rape allegation. Which is a little bit of steam off of Assange. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange should not be extradited to Sweden for a revived rape investigation, but should still be questioned in the case while he is impri imprisoned in Britain, as Swedish court has ruled. The ruling by the Uppsala District Court does not mean the preliminary investigation must be abandoned, only that Assange does not face extradition to Sweden anytime soon. So while we're thinking that's a bit of uh, weight off Assange's shoulders, uh, we still learn that there's a lot more um, coming for him. Uh, he may still be facing 17 charges uh, coming from the United Kingdom and the United States under the Espionage Act. And he could be facing 175 years in prison, so a life sentence for... He didn't really actually commit any crimes. Let's just have a quick look at this. According to WikiLeaks, Julian Assange faces life in jail in the US with fresh espionage charges for conspiring with Chelsea Manning. So like I just said, he didn't actually commit any crimes. He just uh, reported on the truth. Home Secretary Sir David has been urged by the organization to block its founders' extradition to America. So we also hear that he's actually too unwell to, to attend these hearings uh, due to health concerns. So it will be a miracle if he survives this, and Chelsea Manning too, because she may have to go back to jail. Like I said, uh, 10,000 pay rise for the poly polys. We're just going to finish up with this one, but... So we're organising uh, a free Assange rally in Sydney at Hyde Park. The protest will take place um, on the 22nd of June. And I want to thank everybody for su supporting this event already. Uh, if we want real change, we have to go out and get it. Um, we are protesting the mistreatment of Assange while in custody and the absurd new charges laid against him. And he needs our support more than ever. Uh, because he might die. And those that take the risks to help expose government treason should be supported and not made an example uh, to other journalists which is what we're seeing happening here, as well as with the ABC raid. So I hope I gave you some awesome insight on this video. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I really need your support. Um, if you appreciate the work that we're doing, like the pages and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And that concludes this video. This is Nathan Motti here, and I will see you guys soon. Head over to the Australian Evolutionary Movement YouTube channel and subscribe to this channel to support the work that we're doing here. You can also go to Facebook, the Australian Evolutionary Movement, for some great content and news you won't get anywhere else. You can also find my personal Nathan Moddy page on Facebook. I do recommend using alternative platforms like Minds, but you can also find me here.